Hello all. This video explains how to interface 16 by 2 LCD with the PIC 16 of 877A microcontroller. A PIC development board, a PIC2 programmer are used for this demo. Connect the PIC2 programmer to the development board using the ICSP connector. Take care to match the ground pin, plus 5 MCLR, PGC and PGD pins. Now place the target IC onto the zip socket. Pin 1 should match the handle. This is the 16 by 2 LCD. I soldered a female bug stick so that uh, it can be easily plugged onto the demo board. We, we use this LCD in 4 bit mode. So only 4 port pins are required for data, 4 uh, port pins and then 3 data control pins are required for this LCD. We use port pins RD4, RD5, RD6 and RD7 for data D4 to D7. We are using this LCD in 4 bit mode, so only 4 data pins are uh, required. And we require 3 more pins for control bus. One is uh, register select RS, uh, another one uh, read write RW and then enable. The register select RS is connected to RD2. When this uh, RS is 0, the data available on this uh, D4 to D7 is treated as command by this LCD. When RS is 1, it is treated as just data. The enable pin of LCD is connected to RD3. The read write pin is connected to ground permanently. As yes, we are using this LCD in uh, write mode, just for displaying data, this RW is connected to ground. Now connect the 12 volt supply to the board and then uh, connect the USB connected to the picket 2. Now the setup is ready for testing LCD. To start with, create a folder, say, inside the F drive, uh, My Projects. Within this uh, folder, we are going to store all our projects. Now open the MPLAB X IDE. Now click on File and then New Project. Select uh, Microchip Embedded and then Standalone Project. Click on Next. Now select the microcontroller SPIC 16 of 877A. Then click on next. Click the so device as uh, pick it 2. And then click on next. Select the compiler as XE8. Now you have to provide the uh, project name. Provide a name like uh, LCD and then uh, ensure that your project location is uh, F My Projects. That is a folder we created earlier. Otherwise, you have to browse and then uh, locate that folder. Now click on Finish. Now, under Project Pen, you can see the LCD folder created with uh, all the uh, required folders, header and uh, source files, libraries. Now we have to add the required files. Now if you open the project folder that we have created earlier, you can see the lcd.x folder automatically created inside the uh, my projects. Now open that folder some default uh, folder and make file are created. Inside this we have to add the lcd.h header file. This is the header file uh, record for the LCDs, uh, LCD functions. The MPLAB X will understand the LCD functions only if you include this uh, lcd.h header file. You, you download this lcd.h uh, file
copy that lcd.h and paste it inside the lcd.x folder now click on header files right click and then uh, select add existing item and browse to the location of the lcd.x folder and then select the uh, lcd.h header file now you can see the header file has been added to the header files lcd.h now to write the c code you have to right click on source files and then click new c main file you leave the file name as new main and then the extension as uh, .c and ensure that the file is created under your project lcd.x click on finish now you can see some uh, standard code uh, automatically generated for now you just delete this code and to add the configuration uh, bits you click on window and then uh, pick memory views and configuration bits inside the configuration bits uh, window select the FOSC as uh, HS as we are using an external crystal of 20 megahertz high frequency oscillator you just select HS and uh, you select a watchdog uh, timer as off brownout reset off and uh, low voltage uh, in circuit serial programming as off that is only the HS we are selecting and making all others off click on generate source code to output now the configuration bit is automatically generated you can either copy this code and paste it to the uh, editor pane or you can uh, write it uh, write the pragma config in a single sentence that is uh, for now you just copy and paste it on the top of the pane So xc.h is included, this is the compiler and this is the configuration code that we have uh, generated. Now we will make this configuration code in a single line. Using comma, you can just uh, copy the only the configurations and then paste it. all other codes you can just delete now the configuration code is in single line pragma config FOSC is uh, HS watchdog uh, timer is off power on reset is off and then uh, LVP is off these are the main configuration bits now you have to add the uh, uh, header file we are just making the configuration code uh, to the front of the xc.h and then uh, we are including the lcd.h header file you notice this semicolon after this uh, lcd.h and uh, lcd.h is within apostrophes that uh, indicates that this file uh, resides inside the project folder and to the top we define the crystal frequency as uh, 20 megahertz we use the preprocessor uh, uh, defined preprocessor and uh, uh, this crystal frequency we are declaring it as 20 megahertz this is the crystal uh, external crystal we are using it on the uh, demo board and we just define the uh, 
port pins we are using for connection that is rs is use, used for rd2 enable is used for rd3 and uh, d4 to d6 uh, d4 to d7 used for uh, data uh, this is declared using the preprocessor uh, define now write the main code void main and then you enter the this code this complete code can be uh, copied from the main.c that is downloaded and you can paste it the first is the crystal frequency definition the next is the uh, pin connections defined and then the xc.h compiler is included before that uh, pragma configuration code and then include lcd.h now inside the void main file we declare port d as uh, all output pins and uh, we initi initialize the lcd these functions are all uh, defined inside the header file and inside the never ending loop we just uh, clear the lcd first and then set the cursor at uh, position 1 1 and display the uh, string now you click on run and then uh, build project now you get build successful now click on run and run main project to see the display on the LCD screen thank you for watching